This time I will introduce the 7 features of SilkyPex that I use for Tino. If you want to use SilkyPex to develop low comfortably, I'd recommend you to watch this video. The first convenient function is lighting. I think there are many people who have heard about it. Lighting is the star mark below the thumbnail image. This is a function that most cameras have and can be set within the camera as well. The lighting set in your camera can be displayed on the circuit fix. When you can check the focus and flow in your camera, if you give a lighting in your camera to images, you think it's good that lighting will be carried over to the images when you open it in the circuit fix. If you have a lot of images, it's much easier to find them later by marking them in the box. So, take advantage of this lighting to make image selection more comfortable. It is also tough to find images with lighting out of a lot of images taken, so there is a way to display the images with the lighting more easily. This is the filter images function at the bottom right of the screen. You can easily view only those images that are marked with the lighting by clicking the lighted icon in the star symbol. To cancel, open filter images again and click clear filtering to display all the images. You can also add this lighting on circuit pics. Therefore, it is also possible to mark your favorite images or images you are thinking about adjusting later. The next useful function is shortcut key settings. If you press settings on the display and click shortcut key settings on the screen, the key settings screen will appear. The left column shows the function of circuit The middle column is the current shortcut key that is set. This is a convenient function that allows you to apply the function simply by entering the set key on the keyboard. Here, you can check the keys that have already been registered. For example, you can press Ctrl plus D to display grid. Plus again to cancel the display of the grid. Normally, it can be displayed by clicking display grid in view. However, you can easily display it by simply pressing a shortcut key without doing this. You can also use Ctrl plus W to change the display mode and so on. If you learn these shortcut keys, you will be very comfortable with your work. The lightings are also set in this way. Therefore, lightings during image selection can also be performed comfortably. You can customize this key setting for yourself. In addition, you can set a new key for a function that has not been set. In the previous section, I introduced the function of lighting for images. However, there are other features to mark your images. This is the user mark function at the bottom right of the screen. Select the image you want to mark and press the 5 color mark in the lower right corner to mark the selected image with the same color. There are 5 colors, so please use them as a mark with some meaning for everyone. For example, if you want to print, you use a blue user mark, or if you take portrait photos of multiple models, you can change the color for each model. It takes time to mark each one, so I will introduce the method of multiple selections. If the images you want to select are in line, clicking the first image and then clicking the last image while holding down the shift key on the keyboard selects all the images between them. You can mark all selected images by pressing a mark in this state. You can also hold down the control key on your keyboard to select frames one by one in succession. You can also make adjustments to all the selected images. You can also narrow down the display by color using the filter images introduced earlier. The next one is multi view. Multi View is a function to display two images side by side. It is displayed by pressing this icon at the top of the display. 
When you adjust this image, you can see that the image on the left is changing. The light side is the state before adjustment, so you can compare two images side by side in this way. If another image is selected, only the left side changes. Therefore, you can compare what image is good when there are similar images. For other uses, deactivate link display mode and click reproduction preview mode. Then you will see the image with the adjustment refracted in both and you can zoom in or move only one of them. This allows you to zoom in and adjust the alias of concern while the overall atmosphere can be seen on the light side. Clicking display the image with the photo parameters while holding down at the bottom light allows you to compare before and after adjustment between the enlarged image and the whole image. The same action as the display the image with the photo parameters while holding down button can also be confirmed by pressing the spacebar key on the keyboard. By utilizing these convenient functions, you can perform operations quickly. The next useful function is to select a skin. This feature increases the size of icons and a text. Use this when the resolution of the monitor is high and the characters and icons become small, making them difficult to see. To change quick settings and then move the castle to the bottom options. Then you will see three more items and click select skin at the bottom to display it. The default setting is black at the top. Changing this changes the preview screen above. You can also change the color. If you select black large size, you can see that the icons and characters are larger than those in the upper left. Even though it can be displayed larger, please be careful that parameters and so on may get out of the monitor and be difficult to do. As described here, the skin is applied once you close socket packs and start it again. This increases the size of the text and icons, making it easier to use sliders and other applications. The next useful function is soft proofing. This function allows you to check the color quality of the printout on your phone printer on the screen. Have you ever had the experience of printing out a beautiful images only to find that the colors are not what they appear on your monitor? This feature is useful in such cases. To use it, first click the spray warming and then click soft proofing. At first, the top is color management on the printer side. Set this to perform color management. The display will then increase below, so quick print color space. Doing so displays the combination of printer and a paper. The types of printers listed on your computer are displayed here. The paper type is displayed next to the name of the printer. If it doesn't appear, you will be prompted to download the ICC plot view from the printer manufacturer or paper manufacturer's site. For example, if you select Flutter Paper Z in SCPX5 V2 here, the display will reproduce the finishing color. If you try to use a different type of paper called matte paper pigment on the same printer, the color of the paper will change. Because it is matte type paper, the finish is reproduced in such a way that black floats slightly. It is important to note that in order to make this display more like the printed result, the monitor needs to be color managed. After viewing the finished image, you can adjust it further to bring it closer to your image. This soft proofing function allows you to select the type of printer and a paper that you want to print and then check the finished image before printing. In addition, 
The settings on the printer driver are important for printing close to these colors. There is an option to turn off a color collection. Then you need to make sure that the printer's color collection is not applied. If you do not do this, the color of the picture will be shifted. Do not forget to set it. Use the useful features introduced here to enjoy the low development of SukiPex easily. You can try this software for free for 30 days. Please refer to this video to try it out. I will continue to introduce useful functions of the SukiPex, so press register this channel. Then, thank you for watching.